All right, everyone, thank you for coming to the Water Efficiency and Education Grant Info Session, also known as the WEGE. My name is Andy Coy Pasco. I'm the Water Conservation Program Coordinator for the City of Tempe, and I serve the commercial and business community for the City of Tempe. All right, the agenda, we're going to cover a little background on water conservation and on some of the programs we offer. I will do an overview of the WEGE and then I'll give you a brief summary of what we covered. First, how, why are we here? The 1980s Arizona Groundwater Management Act was ahead of its time with its legislation. It helped pave the way for the Arizona Department of Water Resources and the mandate for water conservation programs across the valley and in the state. So that's why we're here today. We um, have these regulations in place, and uh, we knew it was important to protect our water. The mission of the Tempe Water Conservation Program is to ensure that Tempe's water is used efficiently through effective best practices and targeted outreach. Tempe's water consumption is unique in the valley. Half of our water goes to residential use and half of our water goes to the commercial sector. So that's why you have me here in charge of the commercial sector of conservation. We also have a residential coordinator as well. Tempe Excuse me, Tempe Water Conservation offers a lot of resources to its commercial uh, properties. We have a quarterly newsletter. We have Facebook Water Wednesdays where we post uh, water tips on Facebook. We have literature requests. All the publications you see on the screen are requestable and there's also digital versions. We also have a library of resources that is on our web page. We have Smartscape, I'm sorry, WaterSmart, which I will be talking about in a little bit. We offer workshops at least one or two a year for commercial properties. And we have rebates for our commercial properties as well. We offer water efficiency consultations for commercial properties. This includes indoor efficiency. So we will look at your indoor fixtures, toilets, sinks, showers, so on. And we will measure them and give you an inventory of your fixtures and how they measure up to efficiency standards for the country. We'll also do outdoor efficiency consultations where we check your watering system. We'll write down your schedule for you, offer you best practices for watering your landscape. We also have the Water Smart Portal, which I mentioned earlier. This is a water management tool. So you can look at your hourly water use, your daily water use, you can see trends over the month, trends over the year. It's an easy and convenient way to access, view, and interpret your water usage. You can link accounts if you have more than one account for your property. Let's say you have a landscape meter and an indoor use meter 
you can link those on WaterSmart to view them in the same portal. And my favorite part of WaterSmart is you can get continuous usage alerts, which can alert you to potential leaks. All right, and now on to the Water Efficiency and Education Grant Program. So this program is open to all non-residential customers. So this includes commercial, industrial, institutional customers, and it does not include HOAs, homeowners associations, new builds, or uh, projects that have already been completed. However, if you don't fall into that category, if, you, if you're a non-residential customer and you have a project that you want to do that includes domestic, sanitary fixture upgrades, landscaping and irrigation improvements, or let's say you have a cooling tower upgrade or an industrial process modification you would like to do at your site, you can call, qualify for this uh, grant. Here's the timeline real quick. So applications open in January, so they are open right now. The deadline to apply is March 31st. The committee will review in April and you will be notified if you have been accepted in May. After that, we will send you a, an agreement. And once you sign that, we will give you 50% of the grant award money. Complete the project and the educational component, which I'll describe in uh, another slide. Um, then um, after you've completed your project, which needs to be done by April 30th of the following year, um, and then submit a closeout report in June 1st, by June 1st. Um, after that, after we have all that information, we will give you the other 50% of the grant funding. All right, so the educational component, it can be a presentation, it can be a tour, or if you have another idea, let's talk and we'll see what we can make happen. You can also have my team come out and do a presentation as well. It needs to cover the project details, uh, what you've decided to do. Uh, you need to have a component discussing water conservation and you need a sign-in sheet that gives people's name and their title. Funding, we will fund up to 50% of the project cost, up to $60,000. However, this is cost share. So that means this is a $60,000 pot that all the applicants share. And like I said earlier, it's a 50-50 award. So you'll get 50% at the beginning and 50% at the end. Criteria. So you'll have to meet the pre-approval requirements, which I will discuss in the next slide. Completeness, how complete is your application? How well did you fill out the questions? How thorough were you? Effectiveness, so how much are you offering to match in your grant? Are you matching up to 50% or more? Um, and how much water is projected to be saved in your project? And then eligibility, which I'll cover in a later slide as well. Pre-approval criteria. So you'll need to discuss your project with water conservation with my team. You'll need to review the fact sheet. That will most likely answer most of your questions. Watch the webinar, which you're doing right now. So once you're done with this, you can check that off your list. 
complete a water efficiency consultation. This can be done with my team or this can be done with an outside source. If you do it with my team, the one benefit is it's free. Register on WaterSmart. Not every business is going to qualify for WaterSmart. If you're unsure, reach out to me and I will help you. And for landscape projects, if you are converting your landscape from grass to xeriscape, you'll need to meet with planning and get pre-approval for the project. Eligibility criteria. So we have a rubric that we use to judge the projects. And if you are a first time awardee, you haven't applied for this before, you get an extra point. If you're non publicly funded entities, uh, so if you're private, you get a point. If you are a non member land, so what that means is you get Colorado River water, you get a point, which if you are unsure about your water resources, reach out to me. I will help you figure that out. Or you can just submit your application and we'll figure that out in the um, uh, review phase. And if you're a small business or a nonprofit, you get an extra point as well. In summary, You'll need to receive a consultation either from my team or from some other uh, business, and then you apply for the grant. When you apply for the grant, if you have a consultation from an outside source, you will need to submit your report with your grant. Then once we let you know if you have been accepted, you will sign the agreement and we'll send you the first 50% of your award. Carry out your project and the educational component and then submit your final paperwork. This includes pictures, the um, educational sign-in sheet, uh, final report. And then once we have all of that paperwork in, we'll award you the final 50%.